In this video, we will see how to conduct a hypothesis test using the Casio when the population standard deviation is known. From the main menu, click on 2 to go into the statistics menu and F3 to go to test. If we know population standard deviation, we click on F1. If we have one sample we're testing, we choose F1. And if we only know summary statistics, we choose variable. If we have a list of data, we would choose F1 for list. Let's stick with variable. I've already entered the data, and we are going to do a left-tailed hypothesis test. Therefore, I've chosen the less than sign using F2. We have a population mean of 72. This is the first exam average for a particular test and the population standard deviation is known to be 12. For the most recent semester, a sample of 31 exams was collected. And the average for the 31 tests was 70.5. And we want to know if the population mean is changing, if it's decreasing using this sample to test our hypothesis. Once we have the data entered, we click on Execute and we get the result. We find that our Z test statistic, which is the sample mean converted to a Z, is minus 0.696. The p-value is 0.24. Now at any reasonable alpha or significance level that we've conducted the test, whether that's 1%, 5%, or 10%, this p-value is greater than any alpha and therefore we will not reject the null, and we will conclude that the population mean for this test is still 72 or greater. And that's how you run a one-sample z-test on a Casio graphing calculator.